Jujutsu Kaisen. This is Jujutsu Kaisen Chapter 203, Blood and Oil Part 2. Uh, Josh, did you want to like cover this or do you need me to do it? I... One more week. Gotcha. Well, I got it. Uh, last we left off with Jujutsu Kaisen, uh, Kenjaku just pulled up to the Star Corridor and is like, yo, where's Tengen? <laughs> so I guess he's serious now. He's really going at it. Uh, Choso was there to waiting for him. And we got, like, bits and pieces of his overall plan. Uh, you know, like, I guess Kenjaku's motivations. Uh, he he really wants to just, like, mer- he seems to want to merge non-sorcerers with Kenjaku in order to create something. What the something is, he doesn't know. But the point, that's the point. He, he just is interested to know in what would happen if just like if he created this nexus point of cursed energy and merged non-sorcerers with the ultimate sorcerer, I guess, and see what would happen. Um, And uh, Choso, in response, uh, just immediately shoots him with some blood stuff. So uh, we open now with uh, basically Choso, Tengen, and uh, Yuki uh, just sitting around, and uh, they're just like, waiting for tea to boil, I guess. And uh, Choso's like, let me do it alone. And she's like, you'll die if if you do that. Uh, and Choso's like, then you would fight against Noritoshi Kamo one-on-two without me, w- with me? Hmm. I'd be in the way, right? Uh, <laughs> so he's like, I'll go first. I'll draw his cursed spirits and get him to reveal information on his cursed techniques. Uh, if I could get him to open his domain and... Um, if I could get him to open his domain, and Yuki basically finishes, like, Kenjaku will have difficulty using curse techniques, and that's when I strike. And he's, she's like, I'll say it again, you'll die. And Joseph's like, I don't give a fuck as long as we kill him. As, as long as he dies with me. Uh, All right. I gotta respect Choso. He's like, uh, he's coming with me if I die. Uh People in anime are so ready to die. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> Is that a Japanese thing? I guess. You gotta come in ready to die, I guess, when you're fighting the ultimate evil. You can't just be... You can't have reservations, I guess. At least Choso's not like, I'll beat him for sure. <laughs> Choso knows. Uh, hey. Because he's going into a situation, he'll most likely die. It's not. It's not like, all right, if I cross the street... I might get hit by a car. It's like a I'm I'm going. You're jumping into a fucking meat grinder. Yeah, maybe something will catch you on the way down, and you won't fall. I don't know. Like don't maybe know. the maybe the machine will jam before you get into it. <laughs> we'll uh, see. But yeah, we we pick up where we uh, left off in the present. Uh, one of uh, I guess Choso's blood arrows is right here, right here from uh kenjaku's face but he dodges it he does a little matrix dodge and unleashes a cursed spirit while he's at it um right choso does a cool blood thing and it just changes the landscape of the whole thing uh kenjaku throws some rocks there's a big battle that ensues here it's kind of cool um you know there's cursed spirits and blood things flying everywhere he makes a blood grenade um kenjaku just blocks it basically with the cursed spirit and uh choso asks uh Kenjaku is like, what do you want from Yuji? And he's like, well, I, don't, I don't specifically want anything from him. Like, Yuji's role is to be a vessel, and that's already happening. So I don't have, like, a big grand plan for him. He's just supposed to, I guess, house Sukuna. So, and as long as Sukuna, as long as Sukuna is alive, the chain of curses will never end. So, you know, he's the, he calls him the eye of the storm of a new age, which is interesting. <laughs> Um, so Choso just like shoots him while he's distracted. Uh, Kenjaku dodges it, but he's like, hmm, you know, like a little like sigh breath thing comes out. And uh, Choso goes off, he's like, no, as long as Yuji is alive, no, as long as you're alive, Noritoshi Kamo, you're the root of all this unhappiness. In no way is it Yuji. Uh, but he gets caught. He gets caught pretty nice. Uh, there are these. You gotta be an emotional. Yeah, he caught him. You gotta use logic, bro. You can't let your emotions get the best of you, bro. Uh, 
he gets caught by some cursed spirits. Uh, they just like basically like hold him down while Kenjaku just comes in and socks the fuck out of him and like steps on his face because Kenjaku is a fucking savage. Um, and he's basically like, you want me to reveal my cursed techniques to Yuki Tsukumo? Uh, but, you know, I've only been manipulating low level cursed spirits. So, you know, it's not necessary for me to use my full power because you're all failed creations. And he stomps on his mm. face. Um, and, you know. Discarding you his child. Yeah. And you can't talk that shit to, to, to Choso. He's like, what do you know about my brothers? And he's like, <laughs> did I offend you? <laughs> Triggered much? <laughs> Be happy you got me to say that much. <laughs> Get nice, kid. Get nice, noob. Get that was like Josh in in character personification. <laughs> yeah, this guy is literally Josh. <laughs> Were you like your brothers? <laughs> your brothers are ass. <laughs> Your brother's not even strong. <laughs> <laughs> they all suck as like you. Yeah. <laughs> Choso tries to do something, but then he's immediately blasted with a cursed spirit blast. Um, he gets like pressed up against the wall. Uh, his entire his 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 shirt, his his hair scrunchies. They they're f- blasted off by this thing. And um, he says, do you know what the rank special gra- grade signifies? The ability to single-handedly overthrow nations. And he's like, that's obviously true for Satoru Gojo. And, but Suguru Geto can also wield a grotesque army through his cursed, uh, mani- cursed spirit manipulation. Even dust can pile up into a mountain. He's like, if I could basically use my cursed energy to strengthen low-level curses and command a, sw- a swarm... I could reduce a fucking uh, first grade sorcerer like you to this state. Um, he looks like uh, Jesus on the cross. Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty crucified. Now, did he lose his arm? Sorry, guys. Did he lose his arm? I, I, I think like it's a little too sketchy. I can't really tell. Probably. But yeah. Uh, probably oh, no, he has state. his arm. He still has his arm. It's just like kind of off of... Uh, there's like these little... This- cracks i guess or like in between the tiles there's enough space for his arm to to hang there um oh yeah he's still got it yeah anyway so <laughs> tengen's watching this absolute ass whooping and he's like yuki sukumo <laughs> 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 uh <laughs> please <I> think, uh... <laughs> P- please <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, "No, not yet." Yes. <laughs> I didn't. You know what? I read this. I didn't. I didn't take it as in panic because I figured he's always calm. Yeah. yeah. He or she it is just calm. Like, uh you should. That's how it took. He was like, "Yuki Sukumo, you should." I know that, you know. <laughs> That's like how I that. took it. Where he's like, "Look at this. He's already dead. Save him!" Right. Oh, oh my God, Yuki! Like, he, he's about to come. <laughs> to to be fair, Yuki said, "Is like, you're gonna die." So you know, she said it. She told him. <laughs> to be honest, to be fair, I don't think he gives a fuck about Choso. I think he's like, no, I know. I think he, he's worried about. <laughs> I he's said that just to be funny, whatever. but he's, he's just like, Yuki, please. Uh, so now we get like this internal monologue from Cho. So he's like, I failed as a big brother. I need to protect Fact. my little brothers and to be dependable and to serve as the example. That's what a big brother does. That's also a fact. And um, he says like, not fun. I couldn't even land one hit against my creep of a father. <laughs> but I won't let him say my brothers aren't interesting. And he thinks of two of his brothers that are dead at this point, And also Itadori. Um, <laughs> and uh, he's like, that's why. And he explodes into this blood thing. And he's like, lend me your strength. 
he starts he calls out basically to the younger brothers of the death painting wombs and he says fire and he he's, he flexes up uh and that's where uh the chapter ends um yeah uh pretty dope uh josh what did you think of jujutsu kaisen chapter 203 um choso is such a confusing character i really should reread this series i don't remember the arc about the cursed wombs too much i think there was something created by kenjaku right Mm -hmm. or you know this guy yeah and they're all cursed spirits right yeah choso as well yes technically um Yuji. brian can you can you look up uh exactly what the deal is with the cursed spirit wombs whatever they're called uh they're the death painting wombs i i remember them like somewhat that um they're all uh cursed spirits somewhat tied to kenjaku um or something like that but i could be wrong that's why he's calling them his dad they like, are uh nine grade uh, cursed objects created with the mixed blood of both a cursed spirit and a human. Okay, yeah, that then that makes sense. Um, so they're basically hybrids between human and cursed spirits. I um, see. Except for that one thing down there, that no, looks like that's, a, a that's Digimon. That's one of them. That looks like Mike Wazowski. <laughs> yeah, the Mike Wazowski cursed spirit. Um, yeah. But. No, yeah, okay, so, because, you know, Kenjaku uh, and Itadori seem to be born out of, uh, not Kenjaku, sorry, Itadori and Choso seem to be born out of Kenjaku, they are technically death-painted, uh, death-painting wombs, because they are a mix of human and cursed spirit. Uh, I don't know how it is with the other brothers, the other death-painting wombs, but they seem, the whole idea is that they're hybrid human curses. If if that's what I if that's what I'm gathering correctly. So the one that sticks out the most is Yuji. Yes. So he's a cursed spirit. Half. Yeah, half. Is that why, and that's why he's always been so strong. Yes. Probably. Actually. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh-huh. yep. <laughs> that's simple <laughs> yes <laughs> okay Bingo. i have the money. nothing i don't really have much more to say chozo got his ass whooped yeah i guess uh we should say that this pro this is probably ass whooping of the week uh I just, yeah uh, hell yeah <laughs> um i mean i hate to do it to him but it, it is what it is uh chozo chozo got worked pretty bad uh, and I like I like Choso, but you know, spades a spade. We gotta call it uh, ass whooping of the week goes to Choso. <laughs> Get ready to slumber, brother, go home. We had to do it. Yeah, it's probably gonna keep going next week. He'll probably be the <laughs> next week's <laughs> ass whooping of the week as well. Honestly, hey, look, yeah. I mean. If if that fight against the Seraphin had continued any further, it probably would have gone to the entirety, like half of the Straw Hat crew. They were getting worked by one Seraphin. Uh, yeah, that's close. He yeah. was getting beat. Yo, know, Sanji kicked him with all his might, and it did nothing. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, Brian, what did you? He think? didn't care. Brian, what did you think about the chapter? Um, um, I think that Choso is gonna at least get him to use something but when that happens it's over the fight is like over right away like as soon as he gets the curse technique out um which is a shame i like choso i think he's an interesting character um but i don't have much to say about this chapter honestly it was a bunch of action you know uh i think it's interesting that um he chose choso to be this guy to be to to fight here um and you know i'm looking forward to see him getting his ass beat even more next chapter (laughs) it's cruel uh but i don't disagree i guess um yeah i really like this chapter as well uh i i want to say this would be my runner-up but my my runner-up is almost exclusively world trigger when it's here 
So I don't know. <laughs> oh shit. World trigger. Yeah. Well, we'll get to it when we get. But that being said, uh, I really. Yeah, that's a different scale. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm... We could debate that all we want. Yeah, we'll, we'll... It's a different scale. Yeah, it is. Um, but you know, just because it was an ass whooping doesn't mean it wasn't a good battle. You know what I mean? I think this is like a really cool fight overall, just to like elevate the threat that is Kenjaku. You know, just like really show. It... Yeah. It is that for thing... that reason. Yeah. It is that thing of just like. The, not showing having the main antagonist fight with a fraction of his power just to you know really build up the threat and the and the man has your favorite character gotten his ass beat <laughs> i wouldn't say he's my there favorite you go. character but it's pretty great no, that's um, what i'm saying though yeah and i do like choso as a character i i don't mean to dunk on him and make it seem like i don't like him but um, and you know, it is the point. They make no bones that Choso, even Choso knows that he's kind of outmatched here. Um, but I do like that, you know, he's got like a little depth to him and I'm, I'm enjoying seeing it. Um, uh, so, you know, pretty cool fight. I can't wait to see what he does, even though it might very well be countered very easily, but maybe Yuki, Yuki will come in out of nowhere and save him in the very last minute and be like, I won't accept your death. Something like that. That would be cool. That would be cool. That would be cool. Um, excited for what comes next for Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, but I don't have anything much else to say. It was an action chapter. Uh, so, you know, all I can comment on. It's a great action chapter, to be honest. 